you think that one is the only solution to x cubed is one? Because one cubed is one. It's not actually true, Moi. Let's take a look at the other solutions. Now, technically, when we work with real numbers, that is true. There's only one solution, uno. However, when we work with complex numbers, any polynomial with degree n will have n roots. There should be two others. How do we find those other two? Well, the first thing we're going to do to solve this is we're going to take our 1. We're going to move it to the left side. It becomes a minus 1 is 0. And now we can solve this knowing that one of my solutions is 1. When I factorize this, since 1 is one of my roots, x minus 1 must be one of the other brackets. So what must the other one be? Factorizing x times something is x cubed. That's x squared. Minus 1 times something is minus 1. That would be plus 1. We need to find that middle term. So we can quickly find it by partially expanding. x times kx is kx squared. Here we get minus 1x squared. Now we know that needs to be 0 because in the expansion there is no x squared term. k minus 1 is 0. k has to be 1. So our cubic factorizes like this. We know this bracket gives us x is 1. We just need to solve this one. And we can do that using the quadratic formula. x is negative b. So the b term is the coefficient of x. So minus 1 plus or minus root b squared, 1 squared is 1, minus 4, lots of the coefficient of this, which is 1, so 4 times 1 times 1 is just 4, all over 2 times the coefficient of x squared, which is just 1. 1 minus 4 is minus 3, all over 2. Now, I can rewrite this minus 3 as 3 times minus 1 over 2. And this is where we move into the complex plane where the root of minus 1 is i. So we get minus 1 plus or minus root of root 3 i over 2. And these are our other two non-real solutions. Nice. Save this video and share it with a friend who you think would benefit from this information.